Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Slightly different uh, framing today, because I got a box in the mail. Uh, it's from one of the uh, Kickstarters I backed a while ago. Uh, it's a game called Blood Rage, and it's all about uh, bands of Vikings fighting against each other and against monsters at the uh, end of the world during Ragnarok. So. Uh, I thought, since it all showed up, I would slice all the plastic off of the boxes and uh, open them up for the first time right here. So, here we go. The game, the main box of the game, is large. It's a good, solid size. Um, very good quality box, too, uh, which uh, I'm always happy to see. Being that my games spend most of their time in the boxes, they should at least be vaguely comfortable. So we'll slide the, uh, slide the top off. And we have the rule book. Looks pretty straightforward. I've seen much thicker rule books for games of this size. Uh, there's also a bunch of uh, really solid videos online that uh, people play testing and, and playing at conventions and stuff. Uh, we've got the first batch of uh, cards for the different clans uh, and all of the other important game tokeny thing or uh, game piece things there. We've got a small batch of uh, of cards. These are all the uh, cards that come into play. Uh, we also have place placeholder tokens. I'm not going to know what all of this stuff is until I actually play this for the first time. Uh, so that's going to be interesting and fun. Uh, little cards have their own little, uh, little place. The box is full of other boxes, uh, which is which is kind of nice. Uh, keeps everything from sliding all over the place. So let's see what's inside this one. Inside this one, we have a bunch of monsters. Now these are uh, plastic minis. Um, I'm not a connoisseur of minis yet. I probably will be by the time I get all my Kickstarter stuff in. I've got more than a few hundred from various games coming my way. Um, but these little guys, um, they, they seem flexible enough to not break. They've got a decent enough weight to them so you don't have to worry about them blowing across the table, uh, which is always nice. Um, and the, the monsters are, are a good size for, uh, for monsters. So we'll put that one back in there and I'm guessing in this box we have all of the heroes all of the various members of the clans and sure enough we do along with all the colored bases that you can snap onto these things to um, better keep track of them on the, on the board, because while there's some slightly different coloration uh, in the pieces themselves, um, they're nowhere near uh, distinct enough uh, without those colored bases. And just for an idea of uh, what the size difference is between the regular people and the monsters, well, let's get out one of these giants here. We have this versus a regular person. So there you go. That's the uh, that's the size and the detail on these is, is absolutely gorgeous. You probably can't see it because that's probably out of focus. Um, but the detail on these is pretty fantastic. Uh, again, not a complete uh, connoisseur of minis yet, but. Uh, these are definitely impressive uh, based on the comments that I've seen go back and forth on the Kickstarter. So we've got a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of Vikings. We've got their little ships also. 
And then the uh, last thing, last things in here are a bunch of tokens that say things on the back. Um, I'm sure those come into play in some very sensible way. And the game board. The game board is your standard uh, fold up four panel. Uh, so on a table, that'll fit nice. It's a uh, decent enough size, uh, though it looks like it could get a little bit crowded. Uh, if you bring some of these monsters into play, I'm not sure exactly how that works, but it's going to be interesting to find out. So that's the, uh, that's the main game box. I'm going to put all that stuff aside and repack it sensibly uh, later, because I also have the fifth player expansion. The uh, main game itself is for two to four players, uh, which means... I'm going to have to get people over to, uh, to play. Uh, so we've got, again, a, a new clan. We've got more cards so they can get added in. Uh, all of the important stuff there. Some very nice artwork in the back there. Uh, it's very much this artwork. Uh, looks like a nice little, uh, in the back of the mat for the uh, for the player or for the clan so that's nice uh one of the reasons i did buy this was because the artwork was uh good and impressive i i like fancy artwork on stuff uh the quality of the minis looked really good uh so hopefully the game plays really well from everything i've seen the game looks really well it, it sounds really well uh we've got some extras for that fifth player all of our little uh special characters um and other little things so we'll put that back in there and we have another clan uh this isn't in addition to this would be in place of one of the uh five that uh, can be played as. So I've got uh, six clans to pick five players from. Uh, this one also has a whole bunch of uh, extra tokens to replace some cardboard tokens in the, uh, in the original game. So that's, uh, that's gonna be interesting and, and nice and fun. Uh, that's in there pretty good. So nothing, nothing uh, shifts around during shipping. Uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, I, I can't tell you how many times in the past I've picked up some games and just had pieces everywhere right off the top. Uh, one of the other expansions here is the Mystics of Midgard. And this is uh, Shaman characters uh, for, the, uh, for the game. And they come with their own little uh, extra set of rules and their own special cards and uh, and everything. So that'll be uh, neat to play a base game and then uh, have these expansions to work off of. Uh, Expansion-wise, we also have the Gods of Asgard, uh, which again, some nice artwork on the package and, and in the preliminary stuff. Uh, again, Another set of rules uh, to add in. And then we have six gods, uh, including Odin on his throne and, uh, and Thor and uh, all sorts of fun characters there. So, well, looking forward to that. And then, then there's all these little add-on characters. Uh, and by little, I mean most of them are monsters. So we've got a uh, frost giant. He comes with his own little special cards. And I'm going to pull him out of his package here. So we can again compare the frost giant to one of the regular uh, pieces. And uh, you'll see that, yeah, giants are pretty giant. 
So that's uh, that's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to that. And we've got a troll. And we've got uh, Fenrir because the wolf is awesome. So that's uh, that's going to be neat. Especially Ragnarok and all that. Um, and because I couldn't pass this one up when I saw it, uh, it's a little wolf man. So he's human sized, but he's, uh, he's a wolf man with his own, uh, special abilities, uh, and everything like that. So that's, uh, a quick look at this Blood Rage, uh, bunch of stuff that, uh, I got through Kickstarter. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing it, and when I do, I'll be sure to uh, let everyone know how it played. Uh, again, I'm not a connoisseur of uh, minis or anything, but these seem pretty darn solid, and maybe, maybe I'll try my hand at painting them at some point. We'll, we'll see. Um, if not, I know people who will be more than happy to paint them for me. Uh, but for now, they're just going to stay uh, naked as uh, as they are uh, and make it onto a game board eventually hopefully soon uh, so that's it for for this uh, little unboxing video there'll be a lot more of these as time goes on because i have a lot of stuff from a lot of kickstarters coming in uh, over the next six months or so uh, some of them i've been waiting on for over a year now so we'll see what uh, shipping does for all of that uh, I know some of them are on their way. I'm expecting one or two more in the next month. Uh, and hopefully uh, someone will enjoy a video like this and go, hey, maybe I'll want to buy it. So I'm going to put a link down in the description uh, to the company that produces these. Um, and you'll be able to get your own set of, uh, set of Vikings to uh, play through the end of the world. So, uh, if you know Blood Rage, if you're another person who backed the Blood Rage uh, Kickstarter, uh, give me a comment down below. Let me know, uh, and let me know how you think the game uh, stacks up to other things. Uh, and uh, then we'll, uh, maybe if you're local, we can uh, play a game together. We'll see. Uh, so that's it for me. Uh, if you like what I have to say, hit the like button down there. If you uh, want to get notified every time one of these videos comes out. Uh, hit the subscribe button. You can have it sent directly to your email, uh, which is, I find exceptionally helpful because I'm subscribed to a whole lot of things. Um, and uh, if you know anyone else who might be interested in getting a look at this stuff or anything else that I've been talking about for the last uh, 20 some odd days, uh, share this video with them. I'm Kier. That's it for today, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow.